The next thing I want to talk about is Montage Connect or Modix Connect, which is a utility to allow you to store certain settings related to the performance that the synthesizer is running and store that with your project. So to do that, you need to create a new software instrument and find from AU Instruments Yamaha Montage Connect in stereo. Uh, it doesn't need an output, so I'll just say no output for that, and I'll say create. It's going to load the plugin. Let's rename that. And what we can do at this point is we can tell it to receive or send data to and from the DAW um, backwards and forwards to the synthesizer. So as you can see, it auto sync was turned on. So it has already received the fact that it's using Stranger Dreams into the synthesizer. Now, just for now, I'm going to turn off auto sync because I'm going to mess things up on the synth. So I'm going to load up the American Beauty uh, performance. Now, if I play back uh, these tracks using the American Beauty performance, what we get is which is in some ways lovely, but it's not what was supposed to be here. Uh, so what we can do at this point is we can just send the data that the project is expecting back to the synthesizer. And there it is. So if I hit that um, that playback again, then we get what we expected. Not only are we seeing the correct performance, but we're also seeing it split into the correct audio channels, which is something that we didn't save on the synthesizer. So I should note that uh, you don't have to save your performance when you're working with a DAW. If you have Montage Connect turned on, at the point that you're happy with your performance and you've received it here, you can just turn off Auto Sync and then manually send the performance back if you want to, rather than having to save the performance on the montage itself. You, ass you essentially get an unlimited amount of performance storage using Montage Connect. So what we just did there was uh, we brought back the Stranger Dreams performance with the configuration we'd made to set each part to go out to individual USB channels. You might be asking, why is that uh, so special? Well, because actually, if I had been on American Beauty and then I'm going, oh, right, I, now I need to load up the uh, performance for this particular project and that's Stranger Dreams, this is not correct because now I only have the stereo output. It's not being configured. So what I actually need is the version that I configured and saved in Montage Connect, which had all of the channels set up. Let's show you this one more time. I'm going to save this out and then bring back another project that uh, I've used before. Actually, I might save that again with auto sync turned on. So I'm going to bring in that project, which is, uh, yes, OK. Let's put it onto a different display. There it is. Uh, now, what we have here is a project that uses uh, lots of sounds from the uh, montage tone generator, and it comes with its own performance. And you can see that uh, if you've been looking at the montage, it has loaded that new performance. Uh, I think this one is quite loud, so I'm just going to turn it down, and then we'll play it back. So without me having to do any configuration on the synthesizer at all, it's brought back the correct performance data to play this thing back. So having done that, let's bring back the performance we were, we were using just now. And once again, we should notice, as soon as Montage Connect comes in,
that now we have the Stranger Dreams performance as expected. Thank you. 